Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a fabulous day. It's the same old me, but it's a brand new year and it's the same old you, so it's the perfect combination. But it's a brand new setup in case you didn't notice. It's a brand new setup this time and I hope you like it. Um, tell me in the comment section what's your opinion and if you didn't like it then keep your opinion to yourself because I only like compliments. <laughs> so jokes apart, I am very very happy to get all the love and support and all your lovely DMs on Instagram and Twitter and in the comment section. Thank you so much for being so kind to me. It's just unreal, you know, the kind of uh, love and support that you guys have been giving me. I just don't know how to thank you guys enough. So I thought, you know, since this is a brand new year and this is the first video of this year, let's talk about something that is exciting and rewarding at the same time. There is this interesting opportunity called International Aluminium Extrusion Design Competition and it's an opportunity for designers, engineers, architects, for everybody who has passion for design and has knowledge of manufacturing processes. So as the competition name goes, Aluminium extrusion. Aluminium is a very popular metal like we all know, durable, lightweight, eco-friendly and extrusion, in case you didn't know, is a manufacturing process where aluminium alloy is forced through a die to produce a very specific cross-sectional profile. Uh, to simplify this, Remember when we were uh, five-year-olds, six-year-olds and there used to be this clay modeling tool where we had to add uh, little chunks of soft clay on one end and on the other side a pattern would be formed. So in this competition we have to make use of this aluminium extrusion process. If not the entire product, at least one of its major components has to make use of this manufacturing process. Uh, as a student, you can participate. As a professional, you can participate. There is no restriction. As a student, if you participate, then you will compete only with students. And if you're a professional, then you'll compete only with professionals. I know professionals want to compete with students and win this contest, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> that's not going to happen. So for students, you can invent a product uh, of your own, which is a very challenging thing to do, or you can improve something that's already there in our modern world, and you can give it your own twist, your own design detail to it. But as a professional, if you want to participate, then there are a couple of categories that you can choose from. Uh, for example, there is engineering, there is architecture, there is uh, transport. Our designs will be judged on the basis of how practical, how creative and how much market potential does our design have. In short, how much research have you done? How much detail have you got into? Um, the more 3D models you have or the CAD model you have, obviously it's going to boost your chances of winning the contest. Also, if you are thinking of the environment and your design is sustainable, eco-friendly, of course, that's going to help you to score even more marks. Uh, do have a look at the official website because it's got a lot of helpful content. Uh, it's got two PDF files. One PDF file talks about aluminium extrusion uh, process, what are the benefits, uh, where it's used, all the case studies. And the second PDF file is your entry form, which talks about the eligibility criteria, all the categories, uh, topic categories that you can choose from. If you're thinking, what is the level of perfection that is expected out of me? How much detail am I expected to have? Then again, on the official website, they have showcased works of previous year's winners. So you can have a look at their innovative ideas and their presentation styles. As a student, if you win this contest, you can be rewarded 5,000 US dollars. If you stand second, you can be rewarded 4,000 US dollars. And if you stand third, you win 3,000 US dollars. If your design wins under the sustainable design category, then you're rewarded with 3,500 US dollars. And as a professional, if you win the contest, then you can be rewarded 2,000 US dollars. Now here's my favorite part about the contest. You don't have to pay any money to participate which means there is nothing to lose and we have time up till the 28th of March. Now I know what you're thinking Aditi, <laughs> international competitions sunne mein bahut acha lagta hai but we all know what's gonna happen. Uh, you know, there's so many people, so much talent across the globe so we are not going to make it so there's no point trying it. Well, you're not completely wrong with the competition part but you know, let's look at it this way. If you don't participate, there is a 100% probability that you're not going to win anything. But if you do participate, there's always a microscopic probability that you might make it to the list of winners. So you don't just take home that great amount of money, but you also get an opportunity to network with industry experts and get that uh, amazing international exposure. 
So if you happen to accidentally win this contest, don't you dare forget who told you about it. I hope this information was helpful to you in some way. If the answer is yes, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more of such content for you. Also, in the meanwhile, if you have any more questions, topic suggestions, you can write all of that to me in the comment section or on Instagram and Twitter. And I will try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Till then, have a fabulous day ahead. Take care of yourself. Stay smiling. Stay safe. And I'll see you very soon.